Can we do like design our petition? We're on our way to Esquimalt right now where we're going to do some canvassing out on the street in the plaza. We've got an awesome team of five. Um, we're getting people to sign petitions and uh, build our list in the Esquimalt community so that we can get a hold of them and talk about the election. collecting signatures and support for our oil tankers campaign and we're letting people know where their candidates stand in the federal election in the Esquimalt Honefika riding and we're letting them know that all of their candidates, NDP, Liberal, Green Party, they all support this oil tanker ban. The only person who has yet to sign on is Troy D'Souza. So we're letting them know that, just giving them information for when they head on on May 2nd. Great, for that part. Um, how many inches tall is it? This is precisely... 96. Oh, precisely 96 centimeters. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are each. These are each. Each segment here is 32 centimeters. 32. Yeah, I have zero confidence. <laughs> I had, I really have less than zero confidence. <laughs> oh hi, my name's Kara. I'm a volunteer with Dogwood Initiative and the No Tankers Campaign. Okay, I'm just calling to let you know that there are three candidates in your riding that support a tanker ban. NDP's Victor Elkins, Liberal Joyce Murray. Pictures. They smell kind of funny. Because <laughs> they're fresh off the presses. Exactly. Who are no, these like, guys? Current guy is Norm Hahn, who uh, paddleboarded yeah. the, yeah. the route. And the other guy is a uh, counselor in Hartley Bay. His name's Cam Hill. Uh, Troy D'Souza, the local um, conservative candidate for Scotland Juan Fuca. Um, is making the issue of uh, an interchange, like a traffic overpass, basically. The one thing he's running on, or maybe the biggest thing he's running on. So every Tuesday and Thursday, he's showing up at one of like the traffic bottlenecks on the way into, into, way into Victoria. I mean, you know, just to hold up his signs and, uh, you know, get people to honk for him. Um, we've done some polling that shows 72% of conservative voters in BC actually support a tanker ban. It doesn't matter what party you vote for. Uh, the majority of British Columbians want to ban oil tankers. So, by not supporting an oil tanker ban, Troy D'Souza is basically pitting himself against his own voters and his own base. Um, so we feel like we need to raise awareness uh, on that fact, and uh, what better way to do it than be where he is. We are live on location at Troy D'Souza's Interchange Rally. <laughs> He's just behind us with his posse. <laughs> this morning was pretty good! Woo! 